I'm Gokulain Ravi, we are Microsoft student partner. In this video, we will be seeing how to activate MSDN AS service. MSDN AS Microsoft Developer Network Academic Alliance. This enables all the students in our college to download genuine Microsoft stock products in free of cost. This is one of the great boon to the students so that they need not download pirated softwares including to the latest OS and all developing softwares. So let's see how to activate the MSDN AA services. So uh, for the first step, what you have to do is you have to send a request mail to msdna at pmrig.com. This you have to send this request mail strictly from your live at edu ID only. So I'm just opening the browser and uh, I'm going to log in uh, to my uh, live at edu ID. just signing in so once you sign in write a new mail click on the new mail so the mail should be to msdn a at rate of pmrit.com and uh, the subject should be regarding MSDN A activation. So, in the body of the letter, you have to type your full name and uh, your class and just send this mail. And after sending this mail, like you have to wait for two more days or maximum two days because uh, there are some internal processes which have to be made uh, to uh, activate your MSDN A. So uh, after a couple of days, you may find a mail in your inbox saying you are registered. So in this mail, uh, this mail shows that uh, uh, you are registered to the PMRIT, MSDN A and your account has been activated. So when you move down, you will see a link like HTTP msdn70.eacademy.com or some underscore PMRIT. So just open that link in some new tab and when you move down uh, you will see the uh, see your username and the password so the pmrit456 is the default password which most of you would get and uh, when you get this password please kindly change your password after your first login because uh, this is to uh, prevent some others to enter into your uh, id so once we so now we will see how to download the software from the pmr uh, from the msdna so first you have to log in so this is the site i had just opened the site uh, the which uh, the the site is the link which we found on the mail so in the username i am giving and the password and i am logging in so once you log in you will get uh, this screen if you click on this small button you would see a lot and lot of softwares you know these all these softwares are free for you uh, these also include a uh, latest windows 7 so now i'll just show you how to download the windows 7 just for an example you can download almost all softwares so just click on this software select the software and uh, click on go once you click uh, you will see a add to cart button just click on it again and uh, here uh, you will as to agree the license agreement please read it and agree the license agreement and uh, here you will have a button called checkout so just check out and uh, here uh, you have to enter your uh, details so i am just entering my details and uh, just give next and uh, here after after you press the next you will see such screen and here there will be a small link called download just click on it yeah and you are done almost now you will see uh, a key right serial number this will be your windows 7 key which is genuine and now you have to download the software right so click on the download and don't think the whole software will be downloaded 
at first only the download client will be downloaded to your computer and after that only you the whole os will download it download into your computer so i'm just uh, saving it in my desktop so like once i go to the desktop i will see this a uh, download a uh, this kind of symbol this is the download client which downloads the iso of the os from the server just click on it and uh, here it would ask the uh, the path where it will download the whole software so the c colon slash temp will be the default one i'm just giving the continue so you have to wait for a very long time uh, so that uh, this download process is being completed and after it get completed right uh, you will see an iso file uh, in your c colon slash temp which will be used to install the os or you can download almost any software through this msd and a academic alliance so i hope uh, everyone will use this properly and uh, thanks a lot